Yo, what it do, what it do, welcome back to the channel. So, in today's video, we got a brand new 99 overall glitch. So, welcome back to the channel, and you guys are going to enjoy this 99 overall glitch. So, before I continue with this video, I'm going to show you that you can hit 99 overall, so you guys won't think it's clickbait or it's fake. You guys can literally hit 99 overall really quickly by doing this in 2k21 so i want to say i'm not responsible for anyone getting banned you are doing this at your risk as long with any other glitch you do in the game if you guys want to see more glitches on 2k21 for current gen and next gen make sure you guys go subscribe to jr way to code you guys seen him on my channel before and make sure you guys go give a huge shout out to charles the goat also down below I mean, to start this glitch off, what you guys can do is you can leave the game difficulty on pro or do whatever you need to do as far as that goes. Now your quarter length, I would put it on 12 minutes if you're not a starter. If you are a starter, then you guys can just leave it on five minutes. The reason why I would say put it on 12 minutes if you're not a starter is you just wanna make sure that you get enough playing time in these games. So yeah, man, after you guys adjust your settings, all you guys wanna do is just load up the next game that you have available. Now with this glitch, it's super easy to get your 99 overall. You guys know how it is. Whenever you're playing, you know, park or wherever the case may be, even if you're winning games and you never lose, it's still extremely hard to maintain a 99 overall. I don't know why it's like that. Like you shouldn't get penalized for winning games. But also you guys know how it is. You be in the neighborhood, maybe you lose a game, maybe you get sold and you lose your 99 overall. With this glitch, you're gonna be able to get it a whole lot faster and like i said to do this glitch you don't want a player that's at least a 95 but if you don't have a 95 overall this also works well for mob points as well but this is going to work best for your players that are 95 through 99 so yeah man in these games what you guys want to do is get your takeover as fast as possible but the key with this glitch is you you do not want to pop your takeover into the second quarter if you try to pop your takeover and do this glitch in the first quarter it will not work you have to be in the second quarter so as you guys can see the homie has his takeover right now but he's not popping it like i said you guys want to wait into the second quarter once you get into the second quarter that's whenever you want to you know get your takeover so once the second quarter hits this is when you're gonna either wanna pop your takeover or get your takeover once again. And getting takeover in my career is extremely easy anyway, especially if you change the uh, digital settings. You guys can shoot threes, go for dunks, throw alley-oops, whatever the case may be. Like I said, it's my career, it's extremely easy to get your takeover, so it's really not a big deal. Now, once you guys get your takeover in the second quarter, that's when you're going to want to go ahead and pop it so that's why it's important that you get enough playing time in the first and second quarter so that's why i said if you're a starter then you should be good on five minute quarters if not then you guys might want to put it on 12. now once you guys get your takeover in the second quarter all you have to do is foul completely out so yeah man get your takeover in the second quarter and then get your six fouls and then foul out and whenever you do this you guys will notice that you'll get a 99.9 .9 teammate rating each time that you do this glitch so you guys can get your 99.9 .9 overall extremely fast which is very important because you get a plus one to all of your attributes each time you go up a grade so yeah man it makes your player even more op so it's very important it's kind of hard to keep a night on overall especially if you play a lot of park but with this glitch you're able to maintain it or get it back extremely fast so once you guys foul out um then you guys can just go ahead sim out let the game go ahead and finish and you guys will see that you'll get a 99.9 .9 teammate rating and before this glitch most of the time you'd have to play the games all the way through like you get about 25 and then um, ask the sim out with vc in the third quarter but doing it this way is going to be way faster especially if you're able to get your takeover at the beginning of the second quarter so yeah man you guys will see that once you guys do this glitch you'll get a 99.9 .9 rating each time and that's going to help you get to 99 overall 
way faster you guys can like literally get your 99 in just you know a couple hours opposed to having to play you know a lot of minutes in your my career games so you guys are going to see another gameplay of this glitch just to so show you guys that it is legit because you are able to spam it as many times as you would like so yeah man how do you guys do it to keep spamming the glitch all you have to do is just load up your next my career game and repeat and once you guys get in that game you guys just want to repeat the same exact steps you guys want to make sure that you get your um you guys want to make sure that you get your takeover but make sure you guys don't pop it into the second quarter and then once you guys get to the second quarter then that's when you're going to want to pop your takeover and then you guys can get your five fouls and then foul out and you're able to repeat this over and over again. So yeah, but this is super OP. Like I wish I would have found, I wish I would have knew about this whenever I was grinding my original player. Now, if your player is 95 overall, I would advise you guys to throw lobs. I feel like whenever you throw lobs, like you just call for a screen and throw lobs is extremely easy. I feel like that's the fastest way to get your get to a 95 overall. Or you guys can do the mob player nation glitch where you're able to play as many mob player nation games as you would like and those are double mob points double price progression and double vc i feel like that way is going to be a little bit better just throw uh throw lobs in those mob player nation games but if you're 95 overall and you guys want to get that 99 extremely fast then you guys want to go ahead and do this glitch so yeah man uh as you guys can see He's able to get a second. He's able to get his takeover in the second quarter, and then he immediately files out. And the good thing with this glitch, whenever you're in takeover, they won't stub you out, no matter no matter how many fouls you get. So you can just immediately get all of your fouls. You'll foul out. The game will end, and you guys will see that you'll get your 99 overall teammate rating. You guys can repeat this as many times as you would like until your player is a 99. Point nine, which is super OP and like I said like playing if you play a lot of park is it it's impossible to keep your 99 overall that's just how it is like I went days without losing in the park and my teammate rating would still be going down even though I haven't lost like the the, the rating system especially in park for for this it's broke it's been like that for the last couple of years so hopefully 2k22 it's better man i don't know because you shouldn't get punished for winning games like it really makes no sense and then if you lose a game where you get sold you guys already know how it is but yeah man once you guys uh, get your takeover the second quarter go ahead and pop it and you can immediately file out and you guys want to go ahead and let the game run out and you guys will see that you'll get a 99.9 .9 teammate rating each time that you do this which is which is super op and it's just an extremely fast and easy way to grind your 99.9 overall so yeah man let me know if you guys have any questions drop by drop this up i'm out peace